Hey folks, welcome to another X-Wing 2.0 Initial Impressions video. This time we're going to have a look at the fate of the galaxy. FFG announced Wave 5 at Star Wars Celebration last week, and uh, I finally have some free time to be able to sit down and have a look at the article with you folks. So let's get right into it. We have some uh, giant boxes of uh, definitely not wasted space. Um, <laughs> we have the Ghost and the Phantom, the Phantom 2, the Sheepapede class shuttle, the Punishing 1. We have some new, uh, new Separatist ship, the uh, fully armoured Y-Wing, the Inquisitor's TIE Fighter of the TIE V-1, and the M3A Seek Interceptor. So that is Wave 5. So the um, Nantex class Starfighter expansion is where we'll start apparently. Uh, straight away we see the uh, CIS getting a Initiative 6 pilot. So I am over the moon at that. I'm pretty happy that we actually uh, get someone to sit at Initiative 6. I've been enjoying flying the, uh, the droids. And the um, vultures have all been sitting at initiative three for me. So whilst I've outshot some of the rebel beef, actually trying to fight aces has been pretty difficult. So I'm looking forward to having an i6 to throw down and uh, making the game easier for myself. And then I actually look at it and we see that we have a bullseye arc. So um, yeah, its primary attack looks to be bullseye only. Uh, as we uh, get into the actual card spread, we do see it has a three dice bullseye and then a two die uh, turret. And after I've done some like zooming in stuff, and it is um, after you complete the maneuver, you can rotate the turret, but you can't point it into your rear arc. So you get uh, some good uh, options for that two dice attack if you can't line up that bullseye, but. Nothing too overpowering. I'm still looking forward to it. It has three agility and then only four hull, no shields, and it has a focus and an evade action. Now, the interesting thing about it is that to rotate the cannon, you actually have to track to yourself. You'll notice there's no rotate action on the card. So you are having to take a tractor beam token yourself and then um, try to ensnare people which is uh, um, the, uh, it's a, <laughs> the Nantex class Starfighter only pi uh, pilot talent or talent, I think they are now. Uh, at the end of the activation phase, you if you are attracted, which you can do to yourself, you may choose one ship in your uh, mobile arc at range 0 to 1 and transfer one tractor token to it. So... You can track to yourself and then try and pass it off, which does make interesting, like, the lowest pilot we see is a 2. So I'm hoping that like, everyone at least has access to this talent and that uh, um, it isn't prohibitively expensive, but it will seem, uh, seem interesting. I'm really looking forward to how you can play around with it and what you'll be able to do. Um, it, it's got a decent dial, I think. Um, I, well, I think it's pretty good. Uh, it has the uh, hard ones, which are white, and then the one banks, which are blue. has the two hards, which are white. The two banks in straight are blue. has the threes with swoops across into um, three hard uh, white. So all of its banks are blue. Uh, it has a three bank, which is blue. Three straight is blue. Four straight, five straight, both white, and then a 5k. 5k will be interesting for like disengaging, stuff like that. Um, yeah, nothing else weird and wonderful come, seems to come in that spread, but um, like I said, I'm looking forward to it. Um, having an i6, an i5, an i4, uh, two different i4s, so it looks like it might be a generic i4. Uh, the Initiative 2 is a unique pilot as well. So, yeah, it looks like it could be good fun. Um, I'm 100% I'm going to get one. I don't know if I'll get more. I think I'll have to wait and see for what all the other pilots do. Um, then we go to the BTLB Y-Wing expansion, which is the Old Republic, or the, uh, the Republic Y-Wing. 
Uh, it shows us a Shadow Squadron veteran, and it has a ship ability, which is Plated Hull. While you defend, if you are not critically damaged, change one crit result to a hit result. Um, it is worth mentioning for all of these type of abilities. We've seen them come up with like Dooku and uh, I think, is it Luminara, one of the Jedi's? Uh, all of these things where you're affecting your opponent's attack dice. They still happen in the modify, uh, uh, defender modifies attacker's attack dice step. So uh, if you do this and you're playing against someone with, uh, with mods, they can like re-roll it, if not that they probably would. But um, the Thai advanced, uh, advanced targeting computer would like negate this because you were still getting to change a hit to a crit, which happens after the defender has modified your attack dice. So whilst it will protect you against some level of crits, which is good when you have five hull, um, I'm hoping they don't like assign a points cost to this because uh, Republic are already struggling for pretty expensive generic pilots. So we'll see. Um, <laughs> It's also worth noting that Anakin Skywalker it looks to be the, uh, <laughs> the Initiative 6 pilot for it, so um, yeah, fun. I don't know that I would want Anakin in anything other than the, uh, the, 7, the Delta 7B, is that right? Yeah, the, the 2 agility 3 attack die one, but maybe if you really want that torpedo to go off, <laughs> who knows? Um, the dial on this one, let's see, zoom in a little bit, I think I can make this work. Yeah, maybe, can I, um, uh, can I drag the screen around so you can actually still see? Um, I've walked it, I'm, I'm, I'm so bad at this. Um, I'll get the, sorry folks. So. Look at all of those blues, all two of them. Um, we have the one straight, the, uh, the two straighter blue. Everything else is um, white. So, um, yeah, good job with a generic astromech that's actually of value here. Um, so <laughs> I can see myself putting, uh, putting that on them. Um, interesting card here that we see in the spread is a C-3PO. So it looks to be, um, well, we can't read what the ability is, but it's definitely C-3PO, because you can see his uh, nice shimmering golden body and the PO. Uh, so this might actually have a crew SWAT rather than a gunner SWAT, unless we get a 3PO gunner, which will be interesting. <laughs> I, I can't imagine throwing a 3PO gunner on there for anything other than shits and giggles. I, can, I don't know what ability you would give a 3PO gunner that would fit the setting, but that interests me quite a lot. Um, okay, let's fix this zoom again. Back down there. Oh, I think that should be okay. About here, I think that was right somewhere, maybe. Okay. Yeah, we have a ghost and a sheafapede. Uh, the thing I really like here is that the ghost will actually dock with the sheafapede. It says it will, uh, like the actual dock is hollow and you can put the ship into it. So um, I'm probably going to buy a second one of these and um, just for the model, I'm, I'm pretty ecstatic with that. Uh, the child in me makes me want to play with it more and more. So <laughs> hey-ho. Um, what do we get spoiled in here? Oh, uh, we get a copy of hate, so we'll get, uh, do we get more so we can actually take hate? Oh, uh, yeah, it does talk about it. Couldn't your first chance to put Ezra Bridger and Nefarious Darth Maul in the hyperspace format? So, yeah, it's saying, obviously, because all of this is coming out, Maul is going to be added to hyperspace. We can only assume. Um... I'm trying to see if there's anything else that looks like it's spoiled. No, everything looks to be a repeat. Uh, this is probably the, the thing I'm least excited for. It's like, oh, yay, I get height and perception, joy. I get hate, joy. I get predictive shot, well, whatever. 
um, prockets and afterburners, and then yeah, um, this one is just a bit dull. So the only way I will buy this is if those wings fold, and it doesn't look like they do. But if if those wings fold, dying, I will buy one. If they don't, I'll keep like the one that I kept from first edition. Um, yeah, they're just. They're overcosted for what they do at the moment. Obviously, hyperspace changes in July could fix it, but for the moment, I'm underwhelmed by this pack. Um, then we get to Punishing 1. Again, uh, I think this suffers from the 1.0 hang-up of um, they just don't, people don't want a jump master to be good, so it gives you a chance to get ships and car, well, cards basically that aren't without having to buy the conversion pack but i probably won't be picking this one up uh, then we have the m3a interceptor with the, uh, the cool black and yellow paint job that they have on the the new binary um the new z95 that came out so i'll probably pick one of these up i do like that black and yellow color scheme but as for what's in the pack again nothing too amazing um, it's just a reprint, so, um, yeah, I, I don't know, I, the two new ships, for uh, Republic and, um, uh, the CIS seem interesting, probably, but, but Nantech seems the most interesting thing for me, um, so it adds something that they don't currently have, the BGLB only really adds in the turret option for me, uh, for a Republic faction, unless there's some abilities that I'm missing that I haven't zoomed in on this one, I wasn't as excited. But I'll probably, if the price similarly to uh, the um, Rebel Y-Wings and stuff like that, I could see some of these supporting Jedi with uh, Arc support as well. So you can probably build lists around this stuff. But the model for a ghost, and then, yeah, tie, uh, tie V1, punishing one, and the seek. I, I don't know, it's just, nothing's jumping out at me for this. Um, uh, the seek's too expensive to be a filler ship, but not really uh, having a good enough dial or being um, resilient enough to be a mainline ship so it falls in that weird position that you really need it to be in your list for a purpose to get use out of it so yeah there's my advice i would probably put a pre-order in for the uh, ghost for the cool factor and then um be looking at doing um probably two y-wings and one of the nantex uh until we see any more of a pilot once hopefully we get the uh, the full spoiler for it, which goes into a little bit more depth, I'll do another video and we can see from there. But yeah, that's it, folks. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure you check out uh, Patreon. I've been putting uh, a little bit of content onto there. So you can click the link. You don't even have to be a Patreon to actually see it. It's just going to be hosted on there because it's an audio-only format. And um, eventually it'll drop into the Dice Hate podcast stream. But yeah, it's just something fun, I've, like a stream of conscious uh, thing that I wanted to try and do just for when I don't have time to do these full videos. And uh, even this will be a 15 minute video and it will take me about an hour to get done. So uh, Evie's napping at the moment. So hopefully I can get back in the routine of squeezing in a video at nap time. I've got this one done. I've got lots of ideas. I had like a sheet of paper with... Uh, ideas for videos and stuff like that um and i'll get there i've cleaned off the table from all the paintings that's all set up so we'll get there uh, we're going to be streaming tonight uh, so that'll get um chopped up and then put onto youtube at some point as well so i've not gone anywhere i'm hoping to get more productive again thanks for everyone's support and i'll see you on the next one